Today, we're exploring the future with the top new inventions that will change the world. From 100-inch virtual laptops that redefine portability to robotic arms straight out of a sci-fi movie, the innovations of tomorrow are here today because we're about to explore the incredible tech that's set to revolutionize our lives. Great news for laptop enthusiasts. A model with a 100-inch screen has finally been invented. Well, it's only a virtual laptop, but no one will be able to peek so you can comfortably chat with your friends and watch funny cat videos while at work it features 8 gigabytes of RAM, a Snapdragon 865 processor, and a 256 GB hard drive. The laptop runs on Android, weighs only 1.5 kilograms, and costs around $2,000. Don't worry if your vision is not perfect, the company will provide prescription glasses if you need them. Why would someone feel the need to create a robotic sixth finger? A team from France and Japan has its own answer. It can be beneficial in prosthetic development, specifically the team is studying how the brain responds to this upgrade. If test participants peer receive the robotic finger is part of their own body, which part of the brain is involved in this process? Looking ahead. These studies could lead to the creation of artificial body parts that will wear white clothing. Well, why not? Perhaps someday alongside their amazing laptop, some IT specialist might desire a couple of extra fingers too. The delivery of new fingers could be handled by these drones from the US. The XP4 model is designed to carry loads of up to 7 kilograms and can reach speeds of 111 kilometers per hour, just the cruising speed. More over the wings fold allowing the drones to take off and land vertically. One of the prototypes is currently being tested by the US Navy, and the design can be scaled up to accommodate five passengers, which makes it cooler than the competition. Here's a new development for making fantastic shots. You can use it at a flying taxi or take it with you on outdoor adventures. In a nutshell, its main purpose is to protect the camera from falls. The rifle-shaped platform provides a comfortable grip and allows you to move around confidently in search of that perfect angle. Moreover, the space on the platforms of flashlights, microphones, and other accessories. The shutter is controlled by the trigger and the yellow levers which is shooting modes. It'll add 800 grams in weight, but it's better to carry a little more weight than to worry about damaging your camera. We are awaiting details and pricing on Indiegogo there are also some incredible advancements in the world of fashion. How about a dress that uses neurotechnology? It changes color based on brain waves, and the data is transmitted through one of the world's biggest brain-computer interfaces with 1024 channel. They named this dress Pangolin, probably due to the resemblance to its scales. The working principle is simple. The more active your brain waves, the more the dress glows. Interestingly, the scales were 3D printed. It seems like engineers might still be backstage of fashion shows instead of tailors. Next is a fascinating form of entertainment for those who are still children at heart. A robot priced at $2,900, sure you could add $1,600 and buy a reeling electric car, but it won't be able to moonwalk, jump, or be steered with a joystick like this robot can. And if you feel like a change, you can put the robot to work, it can carry up to 80 kilograms of cargo, and one charge lasts three to four hours.
how big is the wind energy market? Well, in the USA alone, 16 states cover 10% of their energy consumption through wind power. And there is much more potential to explore. This Spanish project is particularly noteworthy because it's a floating design that can be easily scaled up. They are currently testing the prototype and determining the capacity of the future fully developed versions, aiming for a whopping 15 megawatts from a turbine. The project has already secured financing at EU level, involving millions of dollars, and is partnered up with Intech-C, a company connected with the Iran Oman gas pipeline project. According to WHO experts, approximately 16% of all deaths worldwide are attributed to cardiovascular diseases. The good news is that new scientific advancements are continuously helping to save more lives. One such development are these 3D printed replicas of real hearts. These replicas consist of a layer of elastic ink on the outside and tube sleeves and valves on the inside. They said it was an ideal way to test different treatments on patients such as assessing whether weakened parts on the heart can withstand them. Additionally, these replicas will be incredibly valuable for training future doctors. And the best part is that it only takes 24 hours to prepare and print the model. Deep inside, we yearn to get rid of natural limitations walk deeper into the forest climbing higher mountains and challenge the unprecedented speed limits. Say the creators of the exoskeleton. Well, it's not quite like Tony Stark's suit. It comes at a modest price of $300 with this exoskeleton. You can work more efficiently, travel farther, and experience less fatigue. As they compensate for up to 30 kilograms of weight and can cover a distance of 25 kilometers on a single charge, you can even reach speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour in it, not enough to outrun a bear, but certainly enough to leave annoying fellow hikers behind. The weight of the exoskeleton, including two batteries, is 2.4 kilograms. Here's another fascinating development a system that generates electricity from waves. The concept is straightforward pressure fluctuations in the membrane causes air movement, which in turn rotates the turbine and the results speak for themselves. During tests in Portugal, a 40 converter installation produced 60 megawatts of power. It seems that the authority shares the same sentiment. As the team has already been invited to the Europe Wave program, focused on wave energy and received funding from the European Regional Development Fund. What can we do with all this energy? One option is to charge these 16.5 million electric cars that were all over the world and with the right infrastructure. It's possible to produce many times more vehicles. The key is to have enough of these stations installed the idea is to swap depleted batteries with new fresh ones, as it's both cheaper and faster than waiting for a full charge. In about 10 minutes, everything is ready. A network of stations can be built in a city in a matter of weeks. The great thing is that these stations are fully automatic and compact, with one station requiring space of only two parking lots. It's worth starting as soon as possible, in the United States alone. There were plans to invest $39 billion into the installation of chargers by 2030. Have you ever come across the footprints that seemed mysterious and out of place? They might have been left by Bigfoot or by the owner of these unique shoes. A designer from Germany combined 3D printing with the legends about cryptids creatures from modern mythology to create this footwear. The main material used is TAP polymer, which is also commonly used to make phone covers and soft pads on toothbrush handles. One of the advantages of these shoes is their soft but durable parts, even with a thickness of about a millimeter. They can withstand the elements, including hot sun and rain. 
To create these shoes, the designer chose the Sintratech S2 Slice printer, the same one used by Dangler to print spare parts. Japan is facing a potential labor shortage for over 11 million people by 2040. To address this issue proactively, they're introducing railroad robots, which could reduce the workforce by up to 30%. The remaining workers will operate them remotely using VR glasses. Controlling the robots from special cabins and displaying the view directly to their boss's screen. These robots will be valuable for various tasks, such as repairing traffic lights, replacing signs and working with wires, If you don't need robots, yet. Keep an eye out for extra arms. These ones come from Japan and can be attached to a special backpack. No need to recreate the Dr. Octopus experience. The backpack can support up to six arms and the entire setup weighs 15 kgs. The arms can either be controlled by the wearer using a joystick or controlled remotely by operators. One arm per person. Another great feature is that the system is modular, allowing users to swap arms with other backpack users. This could be particularly useful for professions like hairdressers, massage therapists, and construction workers. And who knows, maybe in the future, neurocontrol will be integrated. Once Volvo conducted a series of crash tests for rescue training, which included dropping 10 cars from a height of 30 meters. This was just one of the many tests they conducted to improve car safety. However, for less extreme tests, cost becomes a factor. For this purpose, they used special vehicle targets, mock-ups of the required vehicles that can be assembled on a special platform within a few minutes. The target can be prepared and accelerated to a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. This serves as an ideal solution for testing on unmanned systems. As the vehicle targets are still detected by radars, infrared systems, and scanners as the real ones. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about these mind blowing inventions, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Stay tuned for more amazing innovations that will keep you on the edge of your seat.